The photos published by the GSD are three weeks old. We've already dealt with the holes that Mr. Phillips was referring to, but I think it's very irresponsible of the GSD to publish photographs that advertise to those who may be wishing to enter Gibraltar illegally where the holes were. Mr. Phillips issued the press release as if the holes were still there. He should have referred the matter to me. He would have been told by me that I had received those photographs from official sources some time ago and had already given instructions for those particular holes in the fence to be fixed. But this is a daily occurrence. The difficulty that we have is that on the other side of this fence, there is not a secure Spanish area. It's a general access area in Spain. And people who are desperate to get into Gibraltar to ply their trade, their illicit trade in tobacco, are able to try and either break the fence or pull the fence away with their with their 4x4 vehicles. So we need to find a different sort of solution. We are, I've already given instructions for work to commence on a no-climb category 4 style fence, but we may even have to go further than that in order to make Gibraltar more impregnable, at least in this area, because of course you can swim in or you can uh, get a motor launch and come into Gibraltar and it's very difficult to make a place completely impregnable. GBC requested permission to verify the hole by filming the fence for ourselves, but received no answer. You didn't receive it because you didn't have enough, they didn't have enough time to get in touch with me to give you the verification. As you highlight, people can get in from the sea. There was an instance a few weeks ago of a suspected tobacco smuggler being chased onto the runway. So there are other ways to get in. And indeed, early this weekend, we had somebody swim into Gibraltar for the purposes of handing himself over to the British police in Gibraltar because he's wanted in the United Kingdom and he didn't want to hand himself over to the Spanish police because he didn't believe that he'd be treated properly. So look, uh, can we create Fortress Gibraltar? Absolutely not, because it would be impossible for us to fund in any way that is rational or indeed to maintain. But can we ensure that Gibraltar is as safe as it is? Well, look, having added two layers of fencing, now looking at adding Category 4 fencing and in ensuring that there's this barbed wire, which makes it very difficult indeed, you have to be very, very desperate to want to get into Gibraltar through this fence, as it appears that those who are constantly attempting to breach our fences are. That's not an issue that the government of Gibraltar is responsible for. It's an issue with which we cooperate with the Spanish authorities, through our police, through our customs and all our law enforcement agencies.